so at our last lunch we were trying to get to it. <laughs> but we did learn what you are looking for in music. When, when you play a stereo system, you, like me and most PS Audio customers, I think, are very much into musicality, just the joy of it. And maybe it doesn't measure as well as some others, but at least at least we have what we're looking for, which is that yeah. musical joy. So you you, you crafted the phono the, the first version of the Stellar Prieta and it was good yeah. and it measured great, mm -hmm. but Yep. You so yeah, jumping. I have this. I have this uh, phono preamp. It measures really well. I have a, another phono preamp of mine, which is done through uh, integrated circuits, yep. which are which are awesome. Um, the discrete design did uh, sound better than the the IC design, which was top shelf ICs. Um, so you know, again, before I get into this, I, I want to emphasize that I have the utmost respect for designers chasing. Uh, you know, high, high performance and uh, and the best measurements. It's hard to do. It's an it's it's a uh, quite a science. Um, and and I have a lot of respect for those guys pushing the bar. Um, but you know, I'm really into something that really moves me uh, mu musically, rather than analyze the recording, which is another process. And, and has its merits, and, and there are areas where you where you need that. Um, in in my systems, I find that I want something that communicates music rather than the recording. Okay, so think about that. It's not necessarily exactly what the rec is on the recording, but it communicates the music. It goes past the recording. It makes you move. It makes you dance. It makes you get into it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So this is musicality. This is what I'm into. Um, so, so um, what I found with the preamp is that the, the preamp that measured really well was that it was really revealing. Um, it uh, my direct the discs, my uh, all my audiophile vinyl, you know, hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar vinyl sounded really, really great. But all the commercial stuff didn't sound as good so like even great recordings it picked apart the problems okay so so one one reason why this might be is that there's an innate distortion around the device that you just made okay so so the cartridge has distortion the tape has distortion okay the microphone preamps have distortion the room has distortion that they recorded in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the speakers that you're listening to definitely have distortion. Have a lot of distortion. <laughs> yeah. The room that you're listening in has distortion. Your brain has distortion, depending on what you're drinking. Yeah. Um, or smoking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, we, we don't talk about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, but so making something that is so low that you can't even measure the distortion of like a phono preamp doesn't exactly make sense like it's it's great but in theoretically that's what you would want to do yeah but when you look at it as a system as a whole it doesn't exactly make sense and sometimes having some compensation distortion to mate well with the you know somewhat flawed nature of vinyl because it is flawed. I oh, mean, yeah. the the format kind of you know it's really not great. You know, like let's let's uh, let's be honest with you. But yeah. here's the thing about it is that the recordings are incredible that are on there, and so recording quality and what goes on in the studio is more important than the medium itself. Okay, I might yeah. get. You know, I might get some heat for that, but that's, listen, that's what I've found. I don't care whether it's CD, SACD, uh, um, or, or vinyl, or, or 15 IPS tape, you know, sign me up. Yeah. You know, no MP3s though. Um, and, uh, but, but so, so I wanted something where, you know, st uh, standard recordings sound, sound great as well. And, and really, and it makes you forget that it's just the that you're listening to a crappy recording, right? That you're you're starting to move, you're starting to dance, you're getting into it. So I went back to the Spice program, 
and started to do uh, some circuit changes um, on, on, on my circuit. Um, I, I, decreased, uh, I decreased the feedback in, in the circuit itself. What is that had a lot of feedback. It did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it did. Uh, so what is, what is feedback? When you decrease feedback, what does it do? It, it, it increases distortion. Mm -hmm. It does. Yep. Um, it, it, it also, the, some things that I found out and, and I, I did when I was looking at the, the FFT analysis of my simulated circuit was that I, um, I tried to make the harmonics very simple in nature. And so you'll look on, if you look on John Atkinson's measurements of the SPP, the, uh, the harmonics are extremely simple in nature. The distortion is relatively high it, uh, compared to something that would be below the AP's capability, but the well, harmonics. Just to be clear, so what's relatively high? Uh, Give the, me a the, uh, well, the, uh, one volt out, you might be looking at roughly uh, it, below 0.01 percent, which is which is just so I below, mean absolutely below a hundredth of a percent. Yeah, which yeah. is way way below your speaker. I mean, way 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 and way below, below the level of, of, of hearing. In, in the in the cartridge yeah. itself, the yeah. cartridge is putting out uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. The tape is is one percent. Uh, come on, guys! Yeah. Like you know, it's it's. This is what I'm saying: is you got to look at it as a whole. Yeah. There's massive amounts of distortion in the chain. So 0.01 percent distortion in your electronics is being swamped by the 0.2 of your cartridge. Uh, the the, the 0.3 of your speaker. Five percent of your well, five percent yeah, of at low your frequency. Speakers, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so you know, uh, I, but I also made some simplifications in the circuit. The the circuit became uh, more simple, um, and and I changed uh, various elements of it. Uh, uh, I don't I don't exactly want to get into it because it would end okay. up like twenty minutes. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, I went back to the uh, listening room and I listened to it and uh, and I and I uh, hit it with, with some more adjustments here yeah. and there. Um, I started to forget about the recordings. I started forgetting about the the fact that I was listening to a hi-fi system. The speakers disappeared. The 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 soundstage grew expansive with more um, with more uh, realism and separation. And this is what it's about. And this is why why I do this. Okay, we will be back for more. All right. Thank you, Bob.